Hello everyone and welcome to UCL. I'm just going to run you through a short induction for the UCL Career Services so you've got a bit of information about how you can access the services, the benefits for you and all those kinds of things. So my name is Jo Budd. I'm a careers consultant at UCL Careers. Um, part of my workload is to work directly with the Faculty of Population Health Sciences, as well as the Human Sciences programmes as well. Um, within the career service, we have over 60 employees. Some of these are careers consultants who you are likely to see if you book our centralised appointments and attend events, workshops and things like that. We also have our information staff who are updating resources for you, which you can access in various ways via the website um, where we host our careers library. Um, and examples of resources might include documents on creating good CVs, um, good cover letters, to kind of sector specific profiles that you can kind of look at as well. We also have our wonderful employer engagement staff who in, you know, engage with employers as well as putting on events where employers will be, those kinds of things. And I will talk about dates and specific events a little bit later so you can pop those dates in your diary. So four elements that I'd like for you to you know, know about now. Um, so we've got the personal support, there are skills training, um, networking, as well as internships and vacancies. Um, so personal support, we do have the life and health sciences appointments for you. These are 20 minute appointments that you can book through my UCL careers. I will talk about that a little bit later as well. Um, these appointments are for you for many reasons. You could either maybe have a CV that you'd like to get checked um, an application that you'd like to run through, a personal statement for masters or PhD that you're applying for, or it could be that you would just like a chat because maybe, you know, you're doing a degree in something, but actually you don't know what options are available for you and you want to discuss that. Or you might not know what you want to do for a career, or you might have a really clear idea of what you want to do for a career, but you don't know how to get there. Um, so these appointments are there and cover all those bases. So, you know, you don't know, you don't have to know what you want to do to book an appointment with careers. There are other appointments for you as well. There's the short guidance appointments, which are more discuss discussion and career coaching based. Like I was mentioning before, if you don't know what you want to do or if you do know what you want to do, those are there for you to kind of have a conversation with us and maybe get some ideas flowing. There are also the applicant advice appointments. So with these appointments, you would bring in a CV, cover letter, personal statement, application, and have one of our wonderful applicant, um, applicant advice staff have a look at those for you. And lastly, we also offer mock interview appointments. These are one hour appointments, which you can use. Um, to book these, you need to have an upcoming interview um, so you will contact our information team and provide a form and also some um, relevant documents, you know, job description. So the careers consultant who has been allocated to your appointment can provide a bank of questions for us to ask for that mock interview session, you know, so it's as kind of as close to the real experience as possible. Um, so we will provide feedback and things like that within that session as well. So that's some personal support that you can access through us. As mentioned, there are also the skills training. So we have careers essential workshops. So these will be virtual workshops on different topics throughout the term and year. So topics may be on CV writing, topics on applications and cover letters, as well as actually job searching, LinkedIn, PhD applications, master's applications, so much going on there. Um, so do tap into those as well. Um, you know, whatever's relevant to you at that moment in time, because it will probably shift throughout the year. We also have employer engagement um, skills workshops. So these are workshops where employers are delivering virtual sessions 
usually in a panel format, and they will be talking about developing skills, how they developed their skills. So it's a great way of just getting a bit of insight and ideas into kind of skills development and that kind of thing as well. We also have some e-learning resources. So the picture just below the word skills training, so that is eCareers grad. Um, so this is a great e-learning portal for accessing information with different areas of career. So it might be interview planning, things like that. Um, so that's something that you can also have a look at and you can reach this through our website. And then we also have our Careers Lab YouTube channel, which was started last year, which is really, really popular. Um, lots of topics, again, that you can access in kind of nice bite sized videos as well. So do access and have a look at that too. With the networking, so there's various opportunities for you to start forming connections while you're here at UCL. So there are the employment career fairs, um, management consultancy, life sciences, as well as a few others. Um, these will be run virtually um, this year. Um, and then we also have themed weeks. So these are sector specific weeks, um, as I've just listed a few down here. So there are the, the environmental careers week, the health sector week, life science industry week as well. And I will be providing dates for the careers fairs and the theme weeks at the end of this slide, slides. Um, and then we also have the alumni directory that you can use with your username and password. Um, and this is where you can have a look maybe at alumni who took your course previously and you just want to have a look at where they are now. And there is also a mentoring scheme provided within this um, community space. So if you did want to match up with a mentor, that is also a beneficial um, and impactful option that you can use as well. Internships and vacancies. So we have the My UCL Careers online portal. So this will be the space where you um, book your appointments and events, as well as finding internships and vacancies. Um, so employers post their internships and other vacancies, part-time vacancies, those kinds of things on our careers portal. And this is where you can find all those vacancies as well as booking appointments as well. So there's the summer internship scheme, um, which is obviously next year now, but it's it's worth kind of having a look at that. And something new, we also have Inside Sherpa, which is a simulated work experience portal. So this has opportunities that can help you get an insight into what it might be like working in a specific sector or organisation as well. So they are simulated. Um, they're not actual kind of employed work experiences, but they will be um, providing you with really great um, experiences nonetheless. And that's been incredibly popular since it started. I think it was April or May this year. So there's a few centralised um, career things that we can do. Now moving more specifically into how I will be working with um, the Faculty of Population Health as well as Health Human Sciences um, throughout the year. So think one thing for you to kind of note, um, there is the Careers in Health Sciences Moodle. So this is a Moodle site that I look after. I've recently revamped it so it looks a little bit nicer than before and I've included some more information. Um, you can you know, use the Moodle search engine, type in Careers in Health Sciences and enroll onto this. So self enroll yourself as well. Um, so I really recommend that you do that. So there's going to be lots of updated kind of more um, focused job profiles in different health science areas, um, as well as this will be the, the space that I use to kind of email you. So if there's an event or an opportunity um, that I believe is completely relevant for you, I will email all the students who are enrolled onto this Moodle and you will kind of get information about that. So that's the way that I will kind of connect with you throughout the year. Um, so it's well worth 
um, self-enrolling onto that as soon as you can. So here are the dates that I mentioned. So the careers fairs. Um, so lots of ones coming up. Um, Tuesday, 6th of October, we've got management consultancy. Um, then later on in October, there's the life and health sciences fair. So you'll notice that that's from Monday the 12th to Friday the 16th. Because these are all going to be virtual, um, some are extended over a few days just so you don't get Zoom fatigue, that kind of thing. So do take a screenshot of that um, and add those to your diary or however you manage your life. Um, and again, here are the sector theme week programme. Um, so starting with government and policy towards the end of October and these um, are run right through till March. So it's well worth, you know, noting down some ones that are interesting and relevant for you. So these will be panel style um, events with people from those specific sectors, but generally in different organisation and different roles. So you get to hear about their career journeys, how they got to where they are, as well as they'll be talking a little bit about their current roles and challenges that they face. So it's a great way to get a really deep insight into a certain area and start forming your own career ideas as well. And then there's the career led session skills. So again, different topics. So there are panel discussions around CVs, applications, assessment centres. There are workshops on different areas, teamwork, as well as different things that you can tap into as well. So um, I believe a lot of these dates are still being firmed up, but it's well worth um, logging into my UCL careers, going into the events section and seeing if they're up there now um, and booking on to ones that, you know, sound interesting and hopefully will be helpful for you in, you know, developing skills and thinking about skills, things like that. We also have the UCL Careers Extra programme. So this is for UK home fee students, um, specifically undergraduates from a range of groups. So the low income groups, um, those who have disabilities, seen or unseen, um, first in the family to go to university, carer students, as well as black African and black Caribbean students. So this is a support program um, which offers bursaries for gaining work experience, mentoring um, there's an email list for additional opportunities that my lovely colleague Penny manages as well as workshops um, throughout the year as well and there's also priority access to some of the UCL careers activities too so if you search UCL careers extra in Google there's lots of information about that as well as um, the sign up sheet as well, um, but you will need to come under those specific criteria that I mentioned. So I've mentioned my UCL careers a few times. Um, it's well, you know, I would really, really recommend the Moodle, you know, signing up to Moodle that I was just talking about and making sure that you're on and accessing my UCL careers. If it's easier for you, you can sign up to the newsletter. So, you know, opportunities, events and things are coming straight into your inbox, um, but it's probably good to also kind of check it every now and then as well, just for any vacancies and for any events that, you know, might be of use for you too. So other ways to keep up date with us, up to date with us, sorry, um, we're on all the the socials. So as I've mentioned earlier, there's the Career Lab YouTube channel, as well as Facebook, Instagram, and we also have a blog as well. So where we we're writing about um, different topics too. So that is the whistle stop tour of UCL careers. Um, you know, it will be great to meet you when the time comes. There will be kind of departmental workshops that I will be delivering for you. So hopefully I'll get to meet you there. Um, I hope you're having, you know, a great kind of induction week and yeah, enjoy it and welcome.